Hey friends, it's an exciting day. We've got AMD stuff coming up for E3. And in case you haven't been following along with all of the other E3 stuff, it's just an exciting time for everybody. We got Navi launching, we got the uh, Microsoft Project Scarlet stuff, and we've got Got some good stuff to talk about, about what's gonna be happening in just a few hours, or at least that's what the hope is. Anyways, after we tell you about today's video sponsor, which is iFixit, my friends, you see they have things such as their Protect Cool Kit, their Essentials Electronic Toolkit, or just a bunch of screwdrivers, or their Menta Driver Kit, which is right here, and has basically every bit and bob you could ever, we're actually using it right now, so that's why it's missing stuff. Anyways, not only do they have some of the best toolkits on the market, but they also have fantastic guides for repair to make sure that you can fix any device that you might be looking at and plenty of comments and they sell the spare parts that you might need to fix your device in case you break a screen or you know you just are an idiot sometimes and break a PlayStation while trying to put liquid metal on it. I don't know, I do. So if you wanna check out the premium repair company for computer stuff, you go to ifixit.com forward slash UFD tech, check out their repair guides, their products, as well as their spare parts. Do it now. Anyways, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the things that are happening at E3, at least what we're suspecting. We're gonna be doing a live stream of it here on the UFD tech channel, so be sure to stick around at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which will be midnight our time, South African Standard time i'm staying up for you guys appreciate me please hit the like button now i don't know i just i like to beg for likes mm. so obviously the thing that amd themselves said this event was going to be about at computex just two weeks ago is navi they're going to give us more details about the navi gpus that they plan on launching however as of yesterday, it appears that our friends over at Video Cards actually got some details about a brand new CPU they're gonna be announcing as well. What? What's a brand new CPU? Didn't they just announce Ryzen 3000 at Computex? Yes, they did, but they left out that key little, uh, what's the cherub? Cherub, uh, imp? No, that's not good. Anyways, the, the Ryzen 9 3950X, there has been a leak slide of what appears to be the world's first 16 core gaming CPU that would likely be presented by AMD tonight or this afternoon at the next Horizon Gaming event at E3. My friends were looking, at least according to the slide, six cores, 32 threads, which we already knew, 3.5 gigahertz base, 4.7 gigahertz boost, which is the highest boost clock on any Ryzen chip whatsoever. 72 megabytes of total cache and 105 watt TDP. That is banana hammocks level crazy insaneness. And that is something that we, it's kind of confusing why they would be launching it at E3 instead of Computex, unless they were just trying to save it for some reason. I don't, what? But given the fact that the 3800X appears to be a really good gaming CPU, the 3900X appears to be a really good production CPU, it seems weird that AMD is then gonna say that the 16 core is a really, it's the first gaming CPU when they would probably be selling this to content creators because the 3900X already costs $500 the 3950X is not gonna be cheap. Like my guess is that we're gonna look in the region of six to $750, considering the fact that the 1950X, their first 16 core CPU launched at $1,000, and then the 2950X launched at $900, but is currently retailing for 800. I could see them going up to $750 for this 16 core part on the new AIM4 socket, not socket's the same, the X570. So it appears that AMD only made us wait like a week and a half to see that we're gonna be getting the 16 core, which I mean, if you remember the videos that we did at Computex, people were seeing it on the Computex show floor. There were people overclocking the 16 core. It's out there, we knew this thing existed and now AMD is actually bringing it out. And for anything less than $750, it's a freaking steal. Anything more than why would you get that over Threadripper? Obviously you'll get the higher clock speeds of the 3950X, but then you lose the production value aspect of the quad channel memory and the 64 PCI Express. Like there's value to each of them. I'm kind of confused how AMD is actually gonna choose to market this. They're going with the gaming. I don't, cool. But let's talk about that because Intel, they had some salty words for AMD saying, oh, you guys, you guys might be hearing a little bit about uh, brand new CPUs from a certain three little, three letter team. But uh, you know, you know what we have to say to them? 
It's cool that you can beat us on stage. Oh, you choose select benchmarks where you can actually beat the 9900K. Ooh, ooh, I can beat a 9900K too. Oh, look at that. But guess what? Beat us in the real world, punk. That I'm paraphrasing, obviously, but that's the general sentiment. We'll see how AMD actually performs in real world gaming. It's cool and nice that you can do it on the stage, but do it when everybody actually has your chip in their system and see what it looks like. Which, I mean, I guess is fair, but when you're paying less for the AMD chip than you are for the Intel chip, at, and you're only getting a couple frames less, I don't know. But not everybody's super thrilled with the Ryzen 3000 series gaming performance. Even Jim over at Adore TV in his latest video on packing the Computex announcement, there's still some serious downfalls that AMD is gonna have in specific games over Intel, and Intel's still probably more than likely gonna retain the best gaming CPU crown while AMD goes for the sheer bang for the buck again. However, one of the things that came out of Computex or specifically MSI CEO is that while bang for the buck might be what AMD is going for, they are no longer going for cheap because according to him at least, the X570 motherboards, even the lowest end ones, are going to be wicked expensive. This is partly due to the fact that uh, they have to have better VRM designs, they have to have fans on the heat sinks, which increases the cost, but then also AMD is no longer outsourcing the chipsets to somebody else. They're gonna be producing those in-house. That might bring up the cost or that just might bring up the profit margin. But the clear indication is that X570 is going to be wicked expensive. And this could mean a couple of different things. This could be that AMD is just positioning X570 at the top, and then we can have X5, X470 below that as the more mid-tier option, and then B450 as the low-end option, because B550, at least according to the people we talked at, talked to at Computex, we won't be seeing that until Q1 of 2020. So B550 is a ways away. Oh yeah, you weren't there, were you? You didn't hear that. Yeah, B, B550, at least according to the sources we talked to, is not coming till 2020. So the mid-tier is going to be X470 and the low end will be B450. Why is my mouth so hard to say these words? So that's the general consensus. It looks like X570 isn't replacing X470. It's actually just coming in at a tier on top of that. And if you're gonna be spending $700 on a 3950X, you could probably drop an extra $100 on the X570 motherboard over the X470. And if you can't, I don't know, man. Consider your life choices. So now let's talk about what we know AMD is actually gonna be announcing tonight because they told us at Computex and that is their Navi GPUs or more specifically the RX 5700 series, which they're 50 blank because of their 50th anniversary edition. I don't know, it didn't make a whole lot of sense. We thought it was gonna be called the 3080, but then Nvidia tried to trademark numbers and it got crazy. Anyways, there's a leak slide of what is supposed to be the presentation that's coming up of what we should expect to be the higher end card, the Radeon 5700 XT. This is supposed to be coming in at the rumored $500 price point and compete with the RTX 2070. It looks like it's gonna have 40 compute units, 9.7 teraflops of performance, eight gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM and up to a 1900 megahertz boost clock with a 1600 megahertz base clock. And if we compare that to the RTX 2060's teraflops performance, this is actually looking quite good. But we also know from rumors that we've heard previously, also, if you haven't noticed, we don't really do hot news on this channel anymore because we have a dedicated channel for that, which you can check out right up there. But in one of the videos last week, we talked about how the super announcement that we're expecting from Nvidia is going to be a better RTX 2070 for the same price. And they should, at least according to what I've heard, be dropping prices on all of the RTX cards that are currently on the market. So if the RTX 2070 comes in at $400 rather than $500 and the 5700 XT barely beats it at $500, this isn't really gonna be a great value proposition for AMD coming into the market with Navi, but one of the hopeful things that is rumoring out there in the mill is the fact that this version of Navi is not the completed one. We still don't have the big chip that we're expecting that's actually going to beat Nvidia on its own grounds. This is the one that they could get out the fastest, and so it's just gonna be a nice little entry level so that they have something to replace Vega 56 and 64 with, but not necessarily something to try to dethrone NVIDIA with. 
And we'll have to see whether or not that's true. We also talked about on the other hot news channel, on the hot news channel about how Navi actually isn't a brand new architecture from GCN. It uses the GCN instruction set, but then it is a different microarchitecture. Whereas the next version of whatever AMD is supposed to be bringing out is going to be a brand new instruction set. And this one is kind of a hybrid between the two, technically speaking. And then just a quick little addendum, it appears that five Navi cards have appeared on a South Korean certification website. So it could be that we're getting multiple variants of the cards, or it could just be that they're registering different name sets and it, we're getting the 5700 XT and the 5700 Pro tonight. And then the other ones are just other naming stuff to control that. But we'll see how that goes and we'll let you know. But don't forget that we will be live streaming the AMD announcement tonight or this afternoon, depending on where you live in the world. So be sure to check back here on UFD Tech for that. I'm kind of tired already, but I'll be awake for that. I'll tell you that much. Also, don't forget about today's video sponsor, iFixit, because if you're trying to build a computer, you need a toolkit to actually make it with, or if you break your old GPU, you can fix it with one of these, ifixit.com forward slash UFD Tech. Check it out. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech-related content. I'm Brett with the UFD Tech channel. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, we have a charity stream coming up for my son's genetic disorder condition, medical research stuff. Yeah, charity stream, 21st of June. Watch out for that. I love you too. Bye.